condensing turbine, back pressure turbine, turbine with extraction, with controlled extraction, turbine with uncontrolled extraction. Do you know the main differences between steam turbines? This is the TurbiVap steam turbine channel, and today I'm going to try to explain it to you. So there are basically two basic types of steam turbine. Condensing turbines that harness the maximum energy from steam. The steam that comes out of the turbine can no longer be used to generate energy, because it is already in liquid form. In these turbines the steam has a pressure lower than atmospheric pressure which we call FA. Then the steam goes there to the condenser. All the heat of the discharged steam during the condensing process, it is completely lost in the condensing turbine. In these condensing turbines a large amount of water is required for cooling, to remove the heat released during condensation. All thermal plants that have strict efficiency control employ condensing turbines. The second type we're going to talk about today, back pressure turbines. So. In this case, the outgoing steam still has enough energy to feed further industrial processes before returning as water to the boiler. In these back pressure turbines, the outlet steam at the discharge has pressure greater than atmospheric pressure. This allows for a much greater expansion of steam and a greater change in enthalpy, resulting in greater work output and greater efficiency. The turbines found in thermoelectric power plants are, most of the time, condensation turbines, because it does not need to feed later industrial processes with thermal energy in the form of steam. So it's possible to make the most of the steam's energy by making a big drop in enthalpy, the subject of our previous video, so if you didn't watch it, I'll leave the card up here for you to follow. Go back there and review this video about enthalpy. So unlike the power plant cogeneration sector, in the industrial sector it is common to find back pressure turbines used to generate electricity and also provide thermal energy for other processes. In back pressure turbines the enthalpy drop is lower so that there is still enough energy in the steam, even after passing through the turbine to be able to reuse it in later stages. In the case of a back pressure turbine, there is no condenser after the turbine. The steam goes to the industrial process and from there it partially returns to the boiler, already in liquid form. Turbines can still be classified as with or without steam extraction. Extraction is nothing more than a withdrawal of steam from inside the turbines. After it passes through some stages, that is, it enters the turbine with high enthalpy. After passing through some stages inside the turbine, part of the steam leaves the turbine and goes to the process. The part of the steam that remains in the turbine expands until it exits through the turbine discharge. Drawdowns are found in both condensing and back pressure turbines. Extractions can be of two types, controlled and uncontrolled extractions. Controlled extractions are used when the turbine has an internal device to control the steam output pressure. And the uncontrolled or also known as intakes or in some places as bleed is an extraction that is simply a withdrawal of steam from inside the turbine. Its pressure will depend on the current load of the machine, so there is no control. For feeding industrial processes, controlled extractions are normally used, since these processes require constant pressure. So regardless of the turbine load, the extraction pressure will always be the same. Extractions for turbines used in regenerative cycles that use steam from inside the turbine to heat water in the boiler feed will always be uncontrolled. The advantages of having a controlled extraction is that you can actually guarantee the pressure, temperature, steam conditions of the industrial process even with the turbine operating at low load. The use of controlled extractions leaves the turbine efficiency higher compared to the use of bleed. Bleeding or steam outlets have the advantage of being low cost and easy to operate. You don't need to carry out any checks. They are normally used for power and cycle equipment that do not require constant pressure. In the same way that we can remove a fraction of steam for other processes, we can completely remove the steam after passing through each stage, through some stages, reheat the steam again, and return it in the next stage, doing so by increasing the turbine efficiency. This process is called induction or reheating, so notice the difference there in the details of the housings, structures and piping that you will see in these models there.
So that's it. Today's summary was this. The condensation turbines, the outlet pressure is lower than the atmospheric pressure, that is, we have a vacuum. The back pressure turbine, the pressure at the outlet will be higher than the atmospheric pressure at the extraction turbine can be condensing or counter pressure type. Controlled extraction has an intermediate steam draw with control valves. Uncontrolled extraction or bleeding has an intermediate steam draw that we do without any control. And induction is intermediate addition of steam. In the next video, I'll talk about the 10 basic differences between condensing and back pressure turbines. So, então já se inscreve no canal, habilita nas notificações, deixa o seu comentário se você está gostando do conteúdo aí, deixa um like, que é o feedback, é uma forma de eu saber se está interessando, se está agradando. Um abraço e até a próxima!